Hey everyone, it's been a while since I made uh, my last video and I thought it's time to maybe make another one of my process drawings. <clears throat> Basically, this is how I set up all my drawings, just a loose underlay and always reference. You can, you shouldn't draw, well, of course, the better you are, you, the better you can draw without reference, but yeah, just don't be too cocky and use reference. It always helps a lot. Usually I like to lay it out with a, with a blue pencil or a blue pen. This time it's digital. Um, it's taken over from uh, traditional drawing for uh, photocopying reasons, but it, it has a nice effect in, uh, in, in a digital world as well. So basically I do a blue outlay and then I do a rough sketch over it. And uh, there I start to put in some details. And this time I also wanted to change it around. I didn't just want it to be a copy. I wanted to do some sort of uh, modern world um, Assassin's Creed guy. Hence, you can see a little bit on the hoodie. So I uh, just gave him a bit of a different pants, more modern pants. I think those, those, those look a little bit oldish. And uh, also just a, a hoodie jacket to be able to give him that uh, typical Assassin's Creed hoodie. Uh, you will see later on that uh, I didn't put too much effort into the, the head and that's usually the, the face and the head are my are my greatest weak points and I should have done more work on that. In general I didn't pay too much attention to anatomy here I must say it. It was, it was quite a quick sketch but uh, still no excuses. I could have paid much more attention to, an, to anatomy and build that uh, body up much more strict. But uh, I really wanted to go for my for my semi or mostly cartoony style also that I that I use for work where we do a lot of people. And yeah, right here I just I just flipped the camera which I should be doing also more often. It's it's really good to take you out of your the, the, the zone that you're used to. Um because you really don't see the mistakes anymore if you if you don't flip the camera and you just you get used to the mistakes and ah there you can see that those horrible horrible eyes and the horrible things that I did with the face and I even gave up and I said okay let's just continue with the other parts of the body and I'll return later and here basically I, I'm I'm just outlining and and, and doing the so-called inking this part everything else uh, I consider done and now onto the face and you will see how many times I fuck up I was thinking about maybe cutting this part out but now it's I think it's valuable to see how <laughs> how bad I am at it and hopefully Next time I look back at this video, I, I could say that I'm better at it. I try to put in some shadows, and and then then I take those eyeshadows from the from the photo, and I realize, oh oh wait, I, I set up a different lighting. So really think about your lighting, unlike me, when you when you set up something like this. Uh, yeah, and it was floating too much, so I, I decided not just not just let him float it like that. Just copy, draw a quick element of of the wall as well. And then it's a bit empty like this, so I wanted to add a, a, just a design element and like, I like doing also just slap in a color in the background. I like to do it with my industrial design drawings as well. And I thought, oh, let's do some rim lighting, but uh, yeah, that just didn't work at all. So I decided to, to drop the idea. And yeah, this, this is the final product. Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Bye, guys.